Greetings, royal family, family, family. All right, I'm back. Late, but I'm back. So, Love and Hip Hop Miami, they're back. And uh, I can't say that I was really impressed, but I'm here. So thank you for clicking on the video. If you are new here, welcome to the royal family. And if you are a returning royal family member, you know how we get down. All right, so Amara La Negra is back, right? So we see that she buys a new home. Amara, sweetie, 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 why you got Mama La Negra on camera walking around in her chancletas and her rollers, okay? Amara has a man now. Um, I don't remember how long they've been dating but she, or how long they knew each other. But she says she moved him in after dating him for, what, two months? I guess makes for a good storyline. I'm not mad at you. Okay, so MJ, who is Shay, a.k.a. Bucky's brother, um, and you can tell because they favor. So MJ is walking around in his towel, and Mama La Negra is not feeling it, you know? I saw her looking up and down. She tells him, you know, he needs to put clothes on. And she's just not having it. I, I did see her take Mama La Negra take a little, a little look, and she was looking a little bit long. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like that dynamic. I mean, you buy a house, yeah, your mom lives with you, that's great. But your man living with you, but you know what? He really is a good sport about it. And is it me or Mama La Negra acts like MJ is her man? Like she's telling him to take out the garbage. Come on, take out the garbage. But I do like that he's a good sport about it. So he seems he seems like an okay guy so far. So we move on to Uncle Trick. Uncle Trick Daddy, it is good to see him back. It is good to see that he is still in good health. Um, he did say that because of his lupus diagnosis, he was expecting to, you know, not be here this long. So it's good to see him back. And I do enjoy Trick. I do enjoy Uncle Trick Daddy. He's entertaining. And he's got himself a young gal. You got a new girlfriend. Mind you, he's still married, but he has a new girlfriend and she is living at the house. Trick, you better be careful with that young girl, okay? Because uh, I could totally see you ending up like Miss Seely's father. How'd he die? On top of me. What you doing with that young girl? But the good thing is, the interesting thing is that this young lady is celibate. She said that she is celibate and her and Trick are not sleeping together. So she's one of the smart ones. I'm interested, interested to find out more about her. Because she's like, uh-uh. Because I think she's a rapper too. So... Oh, trick. Are you getting tricked? But she's a smart girl. Don't be giving up your goodies. I don't know, girl. I don't know. So again, Trick Daddy and Joy, they're still married, y'all. Um, he opened up a restaurant in Miami called Sundays, and <laughs> he hired Trina's former assistant, um, Alvin. Remember Alvin? Alvin thought that he was like, you know, the star of the show and Trina had to pretty much kind of like get rid of him. So he hires Alvin trick daddy said, well, you know, he needed a job. So I, I like, <laughs> I like the fact that trick daddy is looking out for those in the community, you know, doing a social service by hiring that young man. So he's in his element, um, at the opening of his restaurant because you know, he loves to cook and everyone comes out to show him love. You know, he's Mr. 305. He's the mayor of Miami, not literally, but you know, so it was, it's, it's good to see that he's do, he's actually doing something. I like Miami because they are always doing something. The cast members, they're putting out music. They have business ventures. It's good to see. So Bobby lights. Amara and her man and Shay, they are at the opening of Sundays. Now, this scene was so long. So, like I said, people are coming out to show support to Trick Daddy. So, Amara, she's talking about JoJo. And for whatever reason, she's back. So, um, Shay is still holding a grudge with her. Shay's just like, you know, you can't be her friend and be my friend. You know, you know how Shay is. She still has a beef with her. So, she's just not feeling her at all. And Shay wants all of the smoke. So it's interesting when you see uh, Shay bucking up, her brother is just like, you know, he's totally the opposite of her. He doesn't seem like he likes all of that turn up. I could be wrong. It's still, it's still early. Anyway, 
So again, Shay, she's telling uh, Amara, you know, you can't be friends with JoJo, and if she does, you know, she's gonna be mad. Real grade school, real childish. But then again, that is what Shay displays. It's always a problem. She always wants somebody to pick and choose between her and someone else. It's just old and tired. So Joy, she shows up. This is Trick Daddy's wife, because remember, they're still not divorced. <laughs> So she shows up and her and Shay are cool now. Cause remember they had words, they had it out. Shay's getting into it with everybody. Oh gosh, it's just so old. So Shay tells Joy that Trick Daddy has a girlfriend. So they're just pretty much getting the mess started early. Now, Joy, I don't understand why you care. At first it seemed like she cared, but then she didn't really care. Like, why do you care if Trick Daddy has a girlfriend or not? Um, because you don't want to be married to him. According to you, he's the reason why the divorce is not final because he still wants to be divorced to you. So girl, don't make that a thing. I hope I don't see her getting into it with Trick Daddy's girlfriend because it's no need. It's just no need. Now the new girlfriend is sitting there. So I think it was Bobby that was like, new girl, I don't remember her name, new girlfriend. This is Joy Trick's wife. Joy, this is new girlfriend. Now she is sitting there cool as a cucumber. So already I'm like, Okay, okay, she's a smart one. She's a smart one. She's Mona must have gave her like, you know, a crash course in how to deal with this stuff. So she's just telling them that she's a Christian and that her and Trick have not been intimate. So Bobby and Alvin, they're being messy. They're calling Trick out um, about the fact that he's not divorced and his girlfriend is just sitting there just watching the buffoonery take place because Bobby, he gets like, he gets the drama started, honey. And Bobby likes, sweetie, sweetie, can you please, please just turn down the bronzer just a little bit. You and Janeski from Love and Hip Hop, New York, do you guys use the same makeup artists or the same brushes? Turn the bronzer down, please. So there's a lot going on in this scene. Like I said, it's just too much back and forth. It's just all mess. But I like the fact that that, that new girlfriend, she kept her cool. She wasn't intimidated by the crowd. She, you know, she's just holding on to her Christian values. It is what it is. So we see Jojo. I don't understand why Jojo is back. She has a new clothing line and she did some sort of collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. And I'm just saying to myself, how sway? But hey, you never know who knows who. You never know what she was doing behind the scenes. I'm not a hater at all. So congratulations to you, Jojo. So Bobby is there at her little launch party or, or whatever it is. Um, and he's acting like he's happy for her, but he gets the mess started. You know what I mean? He's bringing up Amara and their friendship. So he seems like he's trying to reunite them, but Bobby likes the drama. He loves the messiness. So, you know, he has ulterior motives. All right, we move on. Trina. Trina's back. She's in the studio and she is... You know, of course, grieving the loss of her mother, Joy shows up. I forgot that Joy is her cousin. So Joy has really been her, her su be, being supportive of her, you know, because Trina's like withdrawn. She doesn't really want to be around anyone. Plus she has to, uh, she has business issues that's going on too. Um, she's just been keeping to herself. So I, I understand. So Joy is just kind of trying to get Trina to come out and hang out and things like that. And Trina goes into talking about her business partner, Julian. So here is the situation. She completed an album and before the album was released, she got a $300,000 advance for the album which seems a little bit backwards, but whatever. We're just gonna go with whatever it is that Trina is saying. So Trina never got a dime of that $300,000. So once she actually put the album out, she had to pull the album. This is a recent album that she had. I don't even remember the name of it. She had to pull the album um, and because she was getting hit with lawsuits and cease and desist letters. Julian took the 300 K and invested in some sort of record label or something like that. So at this point she is ready to confront Julian and Julian is also Amara's manager. So yes, that's going to be a tangle web. We move on to Amara's event. This is a single release party and Bobby is telling, um, Shay that Amara invited Jojo and Shay is extremely upset. She throws a temper tantrum and she just seems like a very clingy and possessive person, right? Is it me? And it's just not cute at all. So she actually, Shay goes up to Amara 
about inviting JoJo at her event. This is Amara's event. See, here's how I look at it, Bucky. You have two options. You can stay and keep quiet or you can leave. Amara can invite whomever she chooses. This is not about you. This is about her and her single release party and her leotard, okay? So she just gets loud with Amara and Amara's boyfriend, MJ, which is Shay's brother, is just kind of telling her like, look, this is not the time and the place. We could deal with this at home. Like this is like family business or personal business. You guys are friends. We could deal with this at home. So he seems to have a little bit more sense than his erratic sister. So Shay, she starts crying and she walks off and she's saying that Amara's disloyal and I'm tired of being loyal to everybody. I'm tired of being loyal to everybody. Girl, that, this has nothing to do with loyalty. Amara is an adult and so are you, kind of. So if she has her reasons why she wants to reconcile with Jojo, if you are her friend, then you, can either accept it or reject it. But then again, I'm putting too much logic into this show. Anyway, so Jay, Shay, again, her brother is trying to calm her down. And he's just saying like, look, this is not for public eyes. Like he's totally right. I agree with him. So Trina is at the party too. Trina actually comes out to Amara's um, uh, single release party. So she's, you know, she's trying to be social. You can see that she's by the bar with Trick Daddy and with Bobby and with Joy. And she's there to support Amara, but she is really hoping to see Julian, who she has a beef with. So I thought it was funny when she said, um, she was telling Trick and telling uh, Bobby what happened. And Trick on his breath is like, you just, you know, say the word, like, we'll, we'll knock him smooth out. It's like, oh, look at them. They're friends again. Cause you know, they had their little uh, back and forth. So Julian is not at the party yet. Okay. Bar B Bobby goes, of course, he like has to carry news to everybody. Bobby goes over to Amara and tells him, look, your manager Julian is living straight up foul. He stole $300,000 from Trina. So Amara's just like, oh my God, I'm about to go on stage. I don't even know how to process this. This is crazy. So Jojo shows up, right? Jojo shows up and Shay, she starts crying and she's throwing a temper tantrum and she actually leaves the party. So I'm saying to myself, what kind of friend are you? This is your friend's single release party and you're making it about you. And because Jojo shows up, you leave. What a great friend you are, Shay. So Jojo, she apologizes to Amara, but Amara changes her mind. She says to her, you know, Prior to you coming here, I was really hoping that we would reconcile, but then I took into consideration all of the interviews that you have done and the things that you've said uh, um, on social media about me. And you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I said to myself, you invited the girl all the way to your party to tell her this, but then again, at least you told her to her, uh, to her face. So she, she calls Jojo out and she tells her that she just doesn't want to be friends with her. So see, Shay, you did all of that hissy fitting and storming off for no reason. So Amara performed, she looked and she sounded great. And then Julian shows up and Trina, she gets heated and trick. And like I said, Bobby lights, they have her back. So the episode ends and we don't see Jocelyn Hernandez, AKA the Puerto Rican princess. And what is up with these? Re I keep saying this. These reality shows keep deceiving us. They keep making us think that certain clips are going to be in the upcoming episode and none of that takes place. So that's pretty much it thus far for Love and Hip Hop Miami. I don't know. I'm going to be watching, but I can't promise that I will be committed <laughs> to putting up reviews about Love and Hip Hop Miami. I mean, it was good to see the cast back. Everybody looks great. I always see Amara working. I think I said that on my um, What the Friday video um, when I talked about the trailer coming out and the show coming back. Amara, she's always working, so that's good. So it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how Trina is going to be dealing with the passing of her mom, you know, and having to deal with this shady business manager or whatever it is that Julian calls himself. So I, yeah, so remember when all that stuff was going on about, um, between like Nicki Minaj and Trina did a song and everybody wanted a video to come out and people were saying that Trina wanted Nicki to pay for the video. I, I wonder if this has 
something to do with that because she basically got robbed. I mean, that's just crazy. I, but Trina, you've been in the game for mad long. You've been in the game for mad long. So how did this happen? I, something don't seem right here, y'all. Something don't seem right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, anything can happen. You know, shady people can swindle you out of whatever, but that just something just doesn't seem right for you to be in the game for so long. And Trina seems like she's a woman that's about her paper and about her business. How does something like this happen? Anyway, Royal family, be sure to like this video if you liked it. Thank you for rocking it out to the end of the video. Uh, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you care if Jocelyn's going to be on the show. Oh, yes. Jocelyn is going to be beefing with well, what's her storyline going to be? Prima Donna, her and Prima Donna are going to be beefing. I don't even know where their beef stems from, but I guess we shall see. So, Royal family, until next time, peace.